I am the living legend of hair loss, the true alpha male. In fact, I rule the hair loss kingdom. It's undeniable, everyone knows that. We have a topic to discuss. Think of it as a preview of the future. Next year, next decade, 2020. What are we forecasting? We're forecasting flat top. There's been much, much talk about this in the comment section. There's been whisperings, there's been little murmurings. Hey Nick, what about a flat top? And actually, I, I would have to give the credit to Maxwell Smart, our resident barber. He's been, he's been continually saying this. But I feel there's never been a better time for me to experiment with a flat top. Specifically because, as we know, I'm growing my hair out from having the zero guard buzz cut all over. Uh, so, and then one, you know, I was basically shaving off my hair for a couple months. And this time I wanted to make the grow out period more graceful. So as we know, a couple of weeks ago, actually, I don't know, two and a half weeks ago, I did the zero guard on the sides and the back and left the top just to kind of shape things up as it grows out. And so looking through some more comments today uh, from various people, but ultimately <laughs> Maxwell Smart chimed in and had said, well, if I'm going to do a flat top, I need about three quarters uh, of an inch up here on top. So what I'm going to predict is, and what I'm planning, and we'll see if I can get away with it. I'm planning on just not getting a haircut for a while, knowing that the top is already longer than the sides. And when it starts looking bad, in theory, that's going to be meaning that the, the top is long enough to do a short version of a flat top where this will be three quarters of an inch. It, now, it's, it's still short enough to where I can't like, I can't part it. But I can, if I had pomade, I can kind of make waves in it. So I think we're going to have to look into, you know, the first couple of weeks of January 2020 to the link, to the length uh, is going to be closer to that three quarters of an inch. And from there, my guess is it'd probably have to be a zero guard on the sides and the back as I kind of blend, I kind of work my way into this. I would predict what, around March, uh, maybe if I'm still committed to the idea, even through April, which my what 39th birthday we'd be going into that this would be 2020 i'd be starting off the new year and the new decade uh, with a flat top now just some history uh for those of you who uh have not read every single comment of every video i've done which is well over was it 3,000 videos about hair loss about hairstyles or whatever but my sixth grade year uh which for me was the 92 93 school year the entire year I had a flat top. That was the only year of my life I've ever had one. That was in the early 90s, it was quite relevant. You know, men having flat tops was very relevant in the early 90s and late 80s. So it would be interesting. Uh, I wanna do it in a non-ironic way, but I think it could be very relevant to, you know, my viewers and really what this channel's all about. And ultimately I think this is a good time to do it. I mean. I'm growing my hair out anyway. It's, I could try it out, the short version. If that works all right, I can do a longer version, you know? Uh, and then when I'm tired of it, I just don't do it anymore. But this is the, this is the one thing I haven't done yet on this channel. I have yet to, I've done so many things. Let's just think about this. Multiple times I've shaved all my hair off. Even a clean shave at a barber I've done. I've grown out my beard for what, like two and a half months. Uh, I've had fairly long hair, clean shaven, and with a beard with the long hair. I've tried all kinds of hairstyles. It's just the flat top's not one of those that has, has done that. And I think there's a little bit of a situation trending right now where, and I think it's in conjunction with beards, but I'm seeing sometimes men with, you know, long beards are having a flat top. Now, keeping in mind that most men start having receding hairlines or temples by their 20s or 30s, I think it's that much of a relevant concept that I would do it because as we know, we've I've got the V shape going on right here. So it would be interesting to see how the flat, flat top plays out in this. 
I love having the zero guard around the sides and the back. I think the flat top would be kind of a fun and, and cool thing. And it's like, if it's done wrong, it's gonna look corny. But if it's done right, it will be brave and daring. But also, if it's done wrong, I'm just gonna look like a, a guy in his 40s who's a drill sergeant, which is really not what I'm going for either. So we'll, we'll see. It's, it's the last thing I can do that's still new on, the, uh, on this channel. So there you go. I just wanted to give you a heads up on what I'm planning on uh, and just kind of talk, talk through it. And in all reality, I think the majority of my viewers still struggle with the fact that I am literally just a guy who makes money from videos talking about hair. And, uh, like when I say that, I think a lot of people just don't believe it. They think, no, a guy who would make thousands of videos about hair loss over the last couple of years, he's, he surely is interested in the topic. I'm not. I mean, I would be just as happy to trade in this topic to talk about hamsters. Because <laughs> now that I have a, a hamster, we have a hamster in the home, I'm learning all kinds of things about hamsters. So I need to make more hamster videos. Really, I should commit more and make more Jeep videos too. I, I'm surprised that didn't take off. I'm just looking for new, new ways to make income from this channel. Like I said, I'm happy about the $500 a month that I'm making. And just imagine, like, just if, if you're me right now, just imagine what I just said, whatever age you are, just fathom that, okay? Last month and the month before, I got paychecks from YouTube, $500, a little over actually. And when you see that money and you're like, but I didn't really do anything. I just read comments that people left on my videos about their own receding hairlines and said the same stuff I've been saying for years and I got paid $500 for that. Like, I know that's not the, the largest amount, but when you get that month after month, that's several thousand dollars in a year for nothing. So there's just no real challenge in it at all for me. That's why I'm always looking for, for new topics, but nothing trends like hair loss. And why is that? The free market, you, you're telling me by watching all these new videos, any new video with a receding hairline in it is gonna get at least 200 views in it. And most of the time, I'm not even trying. I'm just like, okay, let me just hit record and say something. And it's like 300 views. I'm like, seriously, you watch? But that's, that's where we're at with this. So this is the last thing I can do that I know how to make this interesting. But it doesn't even matter that these videos are interesting. They're not. Like, this is not quality in entertainment, but my viewers are treating it as if it is. The thing that I actually care about is the songs that I write and perform with my wife. That's the only thing I actually care about. But Operation Flat Top 2020, I guess, is, <laughs> is uh, where we're actually at with this. But it's funny because even now a lot of you watching this are still struggling for it. I just said. You think I care about hair. You think I care about receding hairlines and hair loss. I don't care about any of it. I'm just a guy who's like, hey, I can make $500 a month by talking about something I don't care about. Okay, I guess I'll keep doing that because I've been doing this for almost five years. That's like... Well, I've said it before, but think about how pathetic of a person I would be if I actually ha cared about this p topic at all. Like a man who's almost 40, who's like, yeah, I'm, I really care about hair loss and receding hairlines, and I really care about telling people how to know if they're gonna have a receding hairline or if they're gonna go bald. I care so much about this, I'm just gonna do dozens of videos every month, like, because that's what I care about. And it's funny that misconception that like, if he creates content about it, that means he cares about it. No, I, I, I don't. And that's why I'm making this video, just to kind of give you an invitation, kind of behind the scenes, like, hey, you wanna be in on the joke with me here? Like, I'm, because here's my agenda, here's my shtick, here's my scheme. My goal is, you know, just like, and I've done this multiple times when I've shaved off all my hair, like those videos, when I go from having hair to just shaving it all off, you know, so many thousands of views and those are some of my hit videos so I need to create a flat top version I need this is all I'm trying to do I'm trying to create a video where it's receding hairline flat top because I know that's gonna get thousands of views and that'll draw in more people so yeah it's it's a vicious cycle because I keep drawing people in because they're obsessed with am I gonna go bald Meanwhile, I don't care, but I keep getting five to $100 paychecks every month. So I'm like, okay, let me keep feeding their obsession. And I, 
All I really care about is my music. That's the only thing I care about. And those will get a couple hundred views and I appreciate that. But think about, I'm writing those songs and I'm practicing those songs. It, I can crank out a couple a month, but you know, that's not going to bring in the revenue like these hair videos are. So there you go. Just wanted to give you a heads up on what's actually going on, my plan, my motive. I'm planning a flat top theme for the beginning of 2020 as I'm growing my hair out anyway. We'll see how it goes. And ultimately, you're in on the joke. It's just to get views. It's just to have a couple of videos to help other guys figure out, oh, can I pull up, can I pull up a, a flat top and not look like a drill sergeant? Oh, well, this guy, he, he did it, so maybe I could too. Like, that's, that's all, it's a joke. It's a joke. If you wanna know who I really am, you'll watch videos like, when I did the one about how, you know, the top five highlights of 2019, like there's videos, if they're not about hair loss, it's pretty much me being real. This is the most real I've been in a hair loss video in a long time. So there you go. That's the reality. Take it or leave it. Believe it or not. I'm so bored with the topic of hair loss that I, sure I'll, I'll get a flat top just to try to amuse myself. Cause I'm so bored by the topic. And yet my viewers are, for some reason, find this entertaining to talk about. So boring. Anyway, Operation Flat Top 2020. There you go. And this is probably the last time I'll be on the DL about this. I'll probably be more into character going into it to try to make people believe, like, oh, this is a fun thing this guy actually cares about. Look, I don't care about it. It's so silly. Do you believe I'm being real right now? This is the most real I've been with my hair loss viewers in a long time, I feel. All right, well, the next video, I'll do the whole shtick again. I am the living legend, all that stuff, because that's, people are buying into that, so I'll keep doing it. Comments belong right here.